What's happening? It's Shane here. And today we're going to be talking about the most regretted college majors, right? So these are college degrees that people go to university, they spend all that time and money, probably go $40,000 in debt in order to get the degree, and then they regret it. Now, of course, there are going to be ones on this list, there's going to be people down in the comments section that say, I got this degree, and it was the best thing that I ever did. But overall, on average, these are the degrees that are the most regretted out of all of them. And I'm basically going to be going over for, you know, the reasons, at least in my opinion, why that is. And it's so difficult to do research on the right college degree for you because a lot of the time people have this preconceived notion in their head that a degree is going to lead to a job and that job is going to be a certain way, but the reality is completely different. But by the time they figure that out, it's too late. That's why I made this channel. That's why I make all these educational videos for you guys. And also I am getting amazing results from my college 101 course that you can find it down in the description below. I have a very limited time coupon on that. It's probably the cheapest that it's ever going to be at this point. So before we get into it, make sure to gently tap the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc., that you have on the video and let's jump right in. All right, so number five on the list is going to be communications. This was a ZipRecruiter survey and they found that 27% of people who got a communications degree really regretted it, right? And the biggest problem with communications, very obvious, it's just too general. Like there's so many different types of communicating. You can communicate with someone over the phone. You can give a speech to someone. You can communicate via writing. You can communicate via making YouTube videos. All of these different forms and mediums of communication are going to be completely different. Now, if you became an expert on one of those things, like starting a YouTube channel, making YouTube videos, hey, you can make a living from that. You can make a lot more than a living from that. But the problem with communications is just too general. Hiring managers, business owners are not going to know how you are going to add value to their company. And so many of these people probably graduated and they weren't able to find a job and then they you know, were stuck with all that student loan debt and that can be very disappointing. Next one on the list, number four is going to be social sciences and law. According to ZipRecruiter, 29% of them regretted it. And the reasons, because it was too general, impractical, and it's hard to find a job without further study, right? So I've said this many times before, um, you know, a lot of the social sciences and liberal arts degrees, they are going to be very difficult for you to find a job in that field. Many people, I would say most people end up graduating with a degree, they can't find a job in anything that has anything remotely to do with the subject of the degree. And so they either go back to grad school to get a master's or a doctorate, which is very expensive, it takes a lot of time, or they just settle for a job that doesn't really have anything to do with what they originally wanted to do. Now, I think that social sciences, liberal arts teach you a lot of soft skills that can be very valuable formulating an argument, critical thinking, being able to give speeches, being able to write a paper. These are all things that are gonna help you in many different facets of your life. But when it comes to the financial side of things, you really have to plan things out if you decide to get one of these degrees. Number three on the list is sadly going to be education. 31% of people regretted getting an education degree. And of course they would get an education degree in order to become a teacher. Now. One of the positive things about getting these degrees is they have very, very low unemployment rates. So you are pretty much guaranteed to get a job. But unfortunately, the jobs don't tend to pay very well and they also tend to be very high stress. And then there's limited job opportunities. A lot of the time people will end up going back, getting a master's, even a doctorate sometimes because normal teachers just don't get paid all that much. Next one on the list, number two, is probably gonna come as a surprise to many of you, but that is biological and physical sciences. 35% of people regretted this major. Now here's the thing about biological and physical sciences. I've done many, many videos uh, on here about them. Uh, when it comes to STEM degrees, uh, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, uh, science degrees are the weakest out of those by far. You know, technology, engineering, mathematics, when it comes to the numbers, at least the financials, they are much more solid. But with that being said, science is still relatively good. It's not bad, but I think that people's perception of how good it is versus how it is in the real world is just completely off. And so people end up being extremely disappointed when they get a biology degree, a chemistry degree, et cetera, and they realize that, you know, the jobs that I'm looking at aren't gonna pay me very well, or in some cases, I'm gonna have to go back to school 
in order to get a master's or a doctorate just to be able to get a job. And that's the truth for many of these science related degrees in order to get employed in the field if you're actually wanting to do the subject that you studied you're probably gonna have to get a master's or a doctorate in many cases. But if you do get a master's or a doctorate, you're gonna be good to go. So it's definitely kind of a double-edged sword. There's some positives and some negatives there. I think the reason so many people regretted this one, in my opinion, is just because of the fact that they didn't expect it. Next one on the list, number one is going to be English and foreign languages. The regret with this one was about 42%. And to put that in perspective, guys, the least regretted degree was computer science and mathematics at about 12.7%. So 42% versus 12%. That's almost four times more people that regretted the degree. And the main reasons for this is that it's impractical and there were limited job opportunities, right? So I remember, you know, by far the most controversial video on my channel, um, which is the most useless degrees video, got two, over 2 million views now. I remember I put, uh, you know, language studies and stuff like that as one of the most useless types of degrees. And I made a joke about how you can like get Rosetta Stone or you can just go and learn it on your own, something along those lines. But, you know, I, I understand I got a lot of flack in the comments for that. You know, people were saying, oh no, in order to be a trained translator, you have to do this and that and blah, blah, blah. Well, there you go, okay? The most regretted type of degree, right? So yes, there is certain cases, very specific cases where becoming a translator, maybe going to college, getting that degree would be worth it. But for many, many people out there, they find that it isn't worth it because it's just impractical. If you are gonna get one of these types of degrees, um, you know, because you're passionate about it or something like that, consider maybe double majoring in a different degree. Um, that might help you out. Uh, something that's a little more practical, something that is gonna be able to get your foot in the door when it comes to landing a job, or maybe considering pursuing that subject on the side. Starting a YouTube channel, for instance, would be an awesome side project that you could do. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, gently tap the like button, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you.